Scott Davis from Lion Guard here with a best practice tip on naming your tickets inside your PSA. So let's take a look. I'm going to start by going into ConnectWise and here you can see I, I already have a ticket pulled up. And you can see service ticket 2034, and then I have active directory recycle bin not enabled, and then active directory contoso nation ADDC01. So this may be automatically populated for you, but with LionGuard you can customize what this is and where it says and what it says. So first, let's take a look inside LionGuard. When I look at our actionable alerts, here I pulled up the same alert, recycle bin. Here you can see Active Directory Recycle Bin, not enabled, Active Directory Contoso Nation, ADDC01. So where does it get this name? Well, it starts with actionable alerts. So if we go over to actionable alerts, the rule name is going to make up the first part of that ticket title or the actionable alert title that you see when the alert is triggered. The second part of it is actually in the system inspector. So if I go over to the active directory inspector inside Contoso Nation here, the friendly name field makes up that second part where active directory Contoso Nation ADDC01. So if we go back over to ConnectWise, I can see active directory recycle bin not enabled is the title of the actionable alert rule. And I can see the second part, Active Directory Contoso Nation ADDC01, is actually the system inspector name. So as far as the best practice goes, is make sure when you're naming your friendly names for both the systems and the actionable alerts, you're including the customer name, the inspector name, or the information that you want to see when the ticket's generated in the PSA of your choice. So that is my best practice tip for the day. Thanks for watching.